Finally, on Libya, the United States and our quintet of partners uh, reiterated today our shared commitment to the stability and security for the Libyan people and for the region. We agreed that we need to do more. And we understood that there is a challenging moment in Libya. We need to try to accelerate the effort to bring about stability and security and the governance that is necessary to provide the time and the space for Libyan authorities to be able to confront the threat from extremism and the challenges uh, that their country faces of just providing governance to their people. In that light, and in support of the Libyan government, we are working collectively through a number of different envoys. Uh, the uh, Arab League has an envoy, uh, Great Britain has an envoy, we have an envoy. They will work in concert, and we task them, literally, to be working as one entity, not as individuals out there in opposite directions. And we're going to do all we can to help the Libyans in these next days uh, to try to be able to gain control over their revenues and begin to forge the kind of coalition that can actually begin to build uh, the offices of governance that are necessary. This is a small country, six and a half million people, smaller than the state that I represented in the Senate, privileged to represent for almost 29 years. I know something about what you can provide when you want to. Libya is a country rich in resources, rich in people with talent and capacity. And we hope that in the days ahead we're going to be able to tap into that uh, and uh, find a way to help the Libyan people uh, to move forward to have the kind of stability and peaceful governance that they aspire to.